All right, everybody, welcome in. If you're watching live and you're in this Twitch chat right now, thank you very much. And if you're watching on the VOD channel, hello to you. We are starting a journey, uh, and that journey is Kitchen Nightmares. Um, a show with Gordon Ramsay where he goes to different restaurants where the food and, and, and staff and uh, environment may not be the best. And he takes it and he flips it around and tries to make it into a better place if he can. Um, this is season one, episode one. They are chronologically uploaded on YouTube. So we are going to start this journey together and uh, watch these. So whether you're watching them live or later on, I appreciate you being here. Um, let's do it. Film rise. They need some sort of like thing. tonight Film on rise. Kitchen Nightmares. Gordon goes head to head with the most stubborn chef he's ever met. I thought your food was crap. That's a matter of opinion. Oh. And unearths oh. the secret garden's dirty little secrets. Ah. Secret garden's a good name for it. <laughs> We uh -oh, will make this a success. But this French chef bites back. Zara, how you is doing? Perfect, in your Gothic, hello. Duh. Start lecturing me. This is the lowest day of this restaurant's life. Oh, man. So now, can Gordon save the secret garden? Who the f are you to turn around and tell me when you were like a pig? Yeah. <laughs> Find out oh tonight God. on Kitchen Nightmares. Bro, the Gor Gordon and John Taffer combined would be like a mega team. Ryan has the best emotes on Twitch, I swear. This is tough. Thank you very much. I try to update that. That was a cool-ass intro. Hold on. Whoa. Look at Gordon here. Hey, whoa. Almost got me there, Gordon. But... More Park, California. Hey, look. The producer's name is Kent Weed. California, gateway to wine country, luxury golf courses, and booming real estate. A great location for a restaurant. But yep. the secret garden is on the brink of financial ruin. All right. Thank you for calling the secret garden. How may I help you? My name is Michel. I'm the chef and owner at the secret Michel, garden. Michel, chef and owner. He's definitely oh, false. Chef? I think so. He's I French. So. That's his biggest problem. He's French. So you I think so is not the best answer. Guns. Oh no, run, Michelle! Michelle just may blow up and say, "What are you doing?" You want to push me in the kitchen? I will scream at everybody. Michelle's out. If you want to push me in the kitchen, I'll scream. Hey. Stop repeating, okay? French people enjoy the quality of life a little more than the American. <laughs> I spill. Michelle can be very, very. Uh, difficult to work with. Jane! Michelle? Serve that. I know Jane's good at her job. I already know, like, I already know this dude. I mean, uh, this lady Jane. She's she's a good server. I can just tell by the way that tie. I don't know. She's just good. Difficult to work with. Jane! Michelle? Serve that. That cannot sit. He's got an ego the size of France. As soon as it's ready. Come on, I need tell. Let's fix it. No, 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 no. I'm getting frustrated. The atmosphere here is... Definitely geared toward uh, a more mature crowd. Okay, okay. Okay, Betty. Nothing wrong with Betty coming in on a Monday morning, have her, herself some hot cakes. This is the kind of restaurant that there's there's uh, Dale. Take your grandma out for a nice meal. There, okay, it's Granny. Not really the oh. happening Saturday night spot. Michelle is having a tough time making ends meet. I can only imagine what his books must look. Hey, Sammy. Good for you. Look like we need 200. Is that Cake Boss? That does kind of look like Cake Boss. What's Cake Boss's name again? Cake Boss's name is Duke or Duff or something. I don't know. Duff. If the restaurant keeps going the way it's going, I won't be able to keep the doors open. I need help. Okay, buddy. That's it. Thank you, chat. Gordon Ramsay has just one week to uncover the problems, to devise a plan, and to turn this restaurant around. How long? And to turn Ramsay has just one week to okay, uncover one week, the problems, to devise a plan, and to turn this restaurant Here's around. Here's Gordon. We're gonna break in. Place is locked. He's about to kick the door down. Where's the entrance? Ah, 
chest locked as well. well at least they're secure. Oh. Hey, door. Right. It does kind of look like you're in someone like your older aunt's living room. <clears throat> like maybe like if you're like a rich aunt or something. It's like you it's like it's it's very homey. I'll give it that. It's very like it feels like I'm in a rich home that I'm not used to. But maybe you know, so maybe oh. we'll see. We'll see. It is a little cramped looking though. I'll say that. And like here like this nightmare. I, why would you put a vase? This is like you're staging it to fall. It's like you have this very thin table with no room. And this is a nightmare if someone bumps into her or something. This is going down on good old Betty. Where is everybody? This Hello? is bizarre. Hello, Nobody, does anyone work there? Oh, wow. Oh, what's Miss Senior Frog? Who wants to say? That is kind of. Tell you what, if I if I was smoking and I and I went in here afterwards and I saw this thing, it would send me to a portal. I would be like, I would think that's red. Like, well, shit, there's frogs serving us now, man. That's something's going on. And I would probably walk out. That's a big frog. Who wants to sit and eat in front of that fat little bastard? Whoa, Gordon! <laughs> Damn, Gordon. Hello. How are you? And you are? Jane. Jane, good to see you. Uh, where's Chef? Chef's here. Okay. Well. Michelle? I'm guessing this is before Gordon was like super famous too, because this is season one of this stuff, so I'm excited to see the growth. Morning, welcome. How are you? Michelle, how are you? Yes, nice to meet you. What's good up, Sarah? You. Well, I finally got in. Couldn't find the front door. The front door is after parking lot. Well, I mean, I couldn't find it. So it's the best kept secret in more Park. Oh, good. And you've been running the restaurant for seven years? Seven years, yes. God, and how long has it been quiet for? Seven years. Not great. Okay, well, I'll go and sit in the restaurant. I feel like I'm at Buckingham Palace. <laughs> Buckingham Palace. Um, <laughs> what is that? I like the flowers, it's, uh, though. It's, it's uh, doily. People love those. People love those? Mm -hmm. Really? You've got all that fancy crap on there, and yet the glass is dirty. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Right. What's ready, Jane? I feel like inviting my granddaughter. Daisy, how you doing? Could you not have got a bigger basket? I feel sorry for that poor lonely bread roll in there. Let me just have a look at it before you serve it. The dogs are quite literally uh, having a tug of war behind me. But they're doing it with Cooper's new squirrel toy, and I feel real bad about it. Yeah. Oh, I feel like saying a prayer. That's the so, bread and um, one... A lunch menu and a dinner menu. What one br piece of bread and a bag. Famous greens with sunflower seeds, dry cranberries and Montrachet cheese. God, is there anything plain on here, Jane? I, I think it's all good. Plain Jane. Thank you for that. Is the crab fresh? No, it's canned. It's canned. Mm -hmm. We'll can that one then. Baby spinach salad with strawberries. Goat <laughs> yeah, no, it's canned. Okay, well. It's asparagus, hard-boiled egg and grilled garlic shrimp. Strawberries and shrimps. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Lily. Did they just say strawberries and shrimps? Bruh. And grilled garlic, shrimp, strawberries Bruh. and shrimps. Bruh. I don't know what y'all are doing in France, but I'm not getting down like that. I'll start with that, please, as my appetizer. Absolutely. I've got to think about a chef's perception of food when he starts to put strawberries with fresh garlic shrimps. Couldn't agree more, Gordon. Oh, no. No. That's bad. I never want to see a strawberry and a shrimp next to each other. Ever. May the Lord not kill me with food poisoning. Well, that was a tough swallow. That's disgusting. Yeah, does, that looks terrible. I agree. Are you dead? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah. Maybe she's not a great server. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe the tie was just a dress code thing. Sadly, the uh, prawns are. Yeah, the canned crab, not great. Cooked. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. there's an. Oh, look at this, though. Another guy here. Tony's here, so that's something. They got at least something going on there. Prawns are undercooked and cold. Uh -oh. When he sent the first dish back, I knew that. I don't understand how things could be cold when you're serving it to someone like him that's there. Like, I'm making sure that thing is hot. Hey, bon appetit. 
big, dirty, greasy chip plate and like a big, overgrown ball of yeah. hair. Deep fat fried. I'm if I'm eating that, that's for sure. <laughs> this is that, old that old shot of Jane right here was like an office sure. shot. <laughs> this is like a shot of Jim kind of looking at the camera like watching Michael like freak out. This looks like an office. <laughs> like if I freeze frame this and I was like, what show is this from? You, Someone would say the office. J the Jane face and the Jim face at this point. Mm -mm. It's tough as old boots. You've eaten there, Janie? No way. How was it? God. What, did, what did you get and how was it? Are those carrots? What are those? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Raw carrot. Fine if you're a rabbit. Raw carrot there. <laughs> How's your steak? Um, Bugs Bunny would like that. Steak was tough. Um, oh. And that was just a big ball of grease. Um, the play was interesting. <laughs> Especially with the chip. Oh, no. Gordon gave us a scathing review. Thank you. Scathing. I don't know if that was scathing. I thought, you know, scathing to me would be like screaming and anger. I think he was just like, well, wasn't that great? Lazy, it's dirty, and it's just bad. I mean, really crap. Your carrots were raw. Uh oh. Your steak was tough. Uh oh. And your uh, shoestring potatoes was a big ball of grease. Big ball of grease? Nightmare in Grandma's house. <laughs> me. Nightmare <laughs> in Grandma's house. dead. Michelle definitely. Dead. <laughs> God, Jesus, Gordon! Oh my God! It's for Jesus, Gordon. Not respond to criticism. He likes to be the man. You seem proud of that food. You seem quite. Yeah, I like it. You like oh. it? Yeah, I think it's good. I mean, don't take this personally. Yes. I thought your food was crap. Oh boy. Tasteless, bizarre. Your food was long-winded, boring, and just you know, badly done. If someone said that my food as a chef was bizarre. I would be devastated. How do you come back from that? If someone says your food, like if I had your food and I and you, were, I was like, it tasted bizarre. <laughs> never a good sign, ever. Malia, what's good? Honestly, I've never seen anyone talk to Michelle in the way Ramsey talked to him. As a waitress, I don't get complaints about the food. The only complaint I might get is uh, a food cold. Jane, that's a com Jane. That's a complaint. If they're complaining about the. Food being called Jane, that's a complaint about the food. I'm not asking you to blow smoke up his. Oh, damn. I just sat there for the last hour and had one of the worst meals I've ever eaten. That's a matter of opinion. <laughs> you know, no. Are you that arrogant? A matter of opinion. <laughs> a matter of opinion. You know what? He is right. I mean, he's not wrong. It is an opinion. But he probably has the right opinion because Gordon is smart here. You love cooking. Yes. Why are you serving crab meat? Um, tin crab, the main reason is because the restaurant is quiet. I buy fresh crab. It goes bad really fast. So I have to buy this, uh, this crab. Mm. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get inside your mind so I can start breaking down okay. how stupid you are. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't think he likes Michelle. <laughs> Yo, Jane is funny. J Jane's a comedian. Is she? Not Jane's definitely a comedian. Jane's the funniest person ever. I don't think he likes Michelle. We've got a lot of work to do in a very short period of time. Okay, that's all I need is not some form of French arrogance. I just need your. <laughs> Support and more importantly, honesty. But I don't feel you're honest. I'm honest. Thank Come on. Thank you for the prediction. What a arrogant. <laughs> He's so far up his own. <laughs> I can't. I'm gonna. Jane looks like a turtle right here. By the way, I can't stop looking at Jane. This is a very tortoise-like face, though. I must say. He can't even breathe anymore. Well, I can't wait to see more Jane I mean, here. Mold is festering. Gordon finds the dirty little secrets. <laughs> oh boy, that's just leading to a fiery food fight. That's how you work. Is everything perfect? Even in your kitchen? Oh my goodness. Dad, start lecturing me. And later, will this French chef be oh. the one to push Gordon Ramsay over the edge? Who the f are you to turn around and tell me when you work like a pig? <laughs> yes, I can't pig. wait to get to this part. <laughs> Oh man, this makes me f laugh so hard already. Day two.
after being disappointed with the food, All right, Gordon day two. now inspects the kitchen. Okay, uh, Michelle's not here. I want to have a good look around and just find out what's in the fridge. Michelle is not here. Uh oh, that's not good. What was the last time that was clean? What is that? Bro, what are, you, are those psychedelics? Nat, thank you for the two freaking years, Nat. Two years of resubs. Thank you so very much for that. I really appreciate you always being in here. Um, what I don't appreciate is whatever's on that plate. Is that mushroom? What is? What actually is that? Mushrooms? My goodness me. Oh, is that banana? Mold everywhere. The food's been in this fridge for so long. Even the fridge has now started to go moldy. That's not Look, good. That's... Just here. That's... It's like mold caked on. This thing hasn't been... Yeah, you know what? What I love with my food? A little mold, chat. Gives it some extra flavor. Been for years. Look... It's real mold. That's very bad. It's been here that long. Even the bottle's moldy. How is that? How long could that be in there? Festering. So potentially dangerous in terms of poisoning someone. This place can't stay open. Oh my god. This place is disgusting. Maggots. Oh, the ma eh, no, no, absolutely not. Oh, absolutely not, maggots. No. Bad. Oh, Michelle's about to come into a world of hurt. Here comes Michelle. Uh, hi, Gordon. Oh, not what the hi. <laughs> hi, Gordon. Oh, Michelle. Oh, Michelle, you're ready. Get ready for a uh, get ready for an altercation. Michelle, how are you doing? Who organizes this place? Oh boy. The cooks and myself. When was the last time I had a really good sort out? Um, a year. Um, yesterday. That's yesterday. a lie. Yes. Look, underneath here. Yesterday. The amount of mold that's growing. Look. It's really important that you're honest with me. Every time I say something to you, all you do is What's smile up, at me. When, because, when, um, when are you going to get serious, Michelle? I, I, I am serious. Well, show me some seriousness then, will you? If you were serious, you wouldn't be having this up there. What the is that? Is it mushrooms? The, uh, dark chocolate. Dark chocolate? That's chocolate? I, I genuinely thought it was... That's how you work? There's finger marks in there where someone's gone in with their hands. Bro. It looks like a raccoon got to it. That's how you work. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes. Oh, man. You don't care anymore, do you? Is everything perfect? Even in your kitchen? I don't think so. Perfect! It's clean! Wait a minute. This guy with the attitude that has no idea what's going on insults me, tells me that he doesn't have oh, to... Oh, no, know, this is not good, song. Michelle. You better... I want you to come and tell me if everything no, is awful. You the truth. If no, you have I... a failing restaurant... And you're asking for his help, and he comes in and says, this is what you're doing wrong. How are you going to get mad at it? Mikhail, thank you for the three months. You hate the truth. Tell me that everything is oh, yeah. I hate the truth. No, I don't hate the you truth. You hate the truth. Tell me that there she is. Another really funny, <laughs> really funny Jane reaction shot. She's providing um, a lot of good moments already here. Everything is awful. You know what? I can get the f to. I work for Thomas Keller. I'm yeah. the kitchen goes. How long ago? I work for Thomas for guy. Listen, awesome. yeah, let, hey, let me get Thomas Keller doesn't run a kitchen like this. No, he doesn't. Thomas Keller's <laughs> no, he one doesn't. of the most amazing chefs in America. He'd be exactly, Tori. Maybe, maybe not. This is extraordinary. It was good for him to be humbled. Michelle was of the opinion that, hey, if I want to serve dog on a plate and the customer doesn't Devin's like it. Devin's a good guy. The restaurant is not doing Devin kind of reminds me of, like, Jason I'm Nash if he was, like, 20. I don't know if that makes sense. Or doesn't like it. How much money have you made in seven years? How much money have I made where? In the restaurant in seven years. What, what do you mean? How much money have you made in seven years? 
Oh, he's not happy with this question. Sorry, it's a big question. You need to make it smaller. How much profit have you made in one year? You're hiding from me. Mm, no, not really, but... You don't want my help? I, yeah, I, I want your help. I want your help. He's getting him. He's get, Gordon's getting him. Gordon's getting him, bro. You can see Michelle doesn't know what to do. You know, I want... He, he got don't him. Don't dare start lecturing me what you want me to tell you. I'm here to help. The quicker you understand that, the better for all of us. Right now, every time I tell you something, it's the man that's just gnawing everything I say. Yep. I've met some stuff in my time, but you take the piss. Let him know. He ain't made no profit. Gordon's saying, come on, man. That's a nice looking place outside, though. That's a very nice location. It's a nice building. It's Everything about it is nice. This place should be popping. He said, sorry, I didn't catch that. I went through a tunnel. I didn't hear that. For the rest that. of the day, the secret garden was busier than usual. Okay. Not cooking, but cleaning. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Clean kitchen, clean food. Yeah? This I is good. We like this. I think that the kitchen looked gross. It is huge, yeah. It's good to see Michelle scrubbing. He's beginning to show there some skills in the kitchen. that the cleanliness of the kitchen is up to Gordon's standard. Hey, maybe, okay, why did... Not, not, not that it's not big, because it is, but it looked like 40 times bigger in the other video. I don't know. The whole thing... My whole perspective of this place just changed. I thought there were other buildings. Whatever. It's still cool, though. It's time for him to check out a full dinner service. All right. Oh, man, she doesn't look happy. Where's Jane? Well, maybe not a full dinner service. Oh, boy. The feeling when you walk in and there's nothing, it's kind of like a slap in the face. Oh, there's Betty again. Good. Customers. A little on the stale side, but customers nonetheless. Oh, man. What the hell kind of puny... A bit of a retirement home heel here. Huh? What is that, Michelle? This is a canopy. Canopy? Yes. Strawberries aren't even right there. Wait, what the... That's the... That's the this is a canopy. Canopy? Yes. I don't know if that could feed, a, a, like, a small rodent. Strawberries aren't even right there. I don't know if a squirrel would be pleased with that. We've been doing it for a while. People love it. Do you, you like to decide? I will take yeah. sweet potato best. Okay, I'll get this oh, for yeah. you. Thank you. Can I have a potato best, please? Yeah, I'll take a couple of minutes. We need to cook it. The food all takes too long to cook. So when I take my order, it will be at least 25 minutes before it's on the table. Damn. Well, if it's, you know, it's nice to sit down and enjoy yourself, spend two, three. Joel said that her rabbit can eat five whole strawberries. Yeah, I could see that. See, so that's what I mean. You got to give some more. You got to give people more if you're competing with a rabbit. Three hours in a restaurant. That's the difference between uh, America and France. People eat a lot slower in France than in America. And America. Oh, God bless America. <laughs> As customers continue to wait, okay. Gordon's Nancy's discovered there. Michelle's overcomplicated dishes there. are taking too long to prepare. Michelle, you're fascinated by crusted items and stuffing things, aren't you? Mm, a little bit of everything. Look at the menu. Macadamia nut, my my crusted. The scallops, crusted. They have the chili garlic crusted salmon, crusted. Crusted, he literally saying. Oh, the word crusted without realizing it. He's like, no, no, no. Not everything is crusted. Uh, crusted salmon. <laughs> you just said the word crusted. Crusted. The pork chop. Crusted. And the filet that's uh, stuck. PB&J, uncrustable. I like good food. I like rich food. I think it's great. It's a little spicy, but not too spicy. It's a matter of opinion. Either nobody likes everything, everybody does. This isn't going great. Oh, dear. It's going to be a long night. God, this guy is unbelievable. You know, there's one thing about being bad, that's solvable, but being in complete denial throughout, it's extraordinary. I've never met such a hard-ass, stubborn in all my life. I love that Gordon goes like 12, 12 feet away and just shuts the door and just starts talking mad crap. This is going to be way overcooked. Yeah, no, we, we need more Jane. Nope. I want Jane to be the chef. Even with few diners in the dining room, Michelle's stubbornness continues to create problems in the kitchen. Mm. What table? Actually, what table is it on that filet pick up? That's the soup you ordered. Are we picking up seven? Oh, my God. 
Michelle wants to be the star of the Young show. Jason Can you worry about it, please? Understood, chef. I could have been doing so much more, but Michelle wouldn't let me. It's a moment when I saw God, I'm saying why. If a chef is... PTV! If you're on the VOD channel and you wonder what goes on when I stop these, just got gifted 10 freaking subs. Which is insanely generous. So if you come live, you get to get a gifted sub. You get to be a part of this community and support for free when that happens. PTV, that's 25 gifted subs today. Thank you very much. And look who's happy, Jane. 11 more to 700. Yeah, you guys have been awesome. Look at Jane. Look how excited Jane is, guys. Look at this. Look at this. She's like this. FG means feels good, Jennifer. It's like, uh, you know, like W. It's our way of being happy in our chat for things that are good. I just got a bit jealous. Like PTV, who's uh, always showing love. Do a little dance at the end of the stream. With Michelle headed towards the dining room, sous chef Devin takes over. If you got to get to sub, please I'm doing. I'm a machine and say I'm thank you to PTV Sugar. And the food is finally getting out. There you go. Right, where is Michelle? First time or you've been here before? First time? I like to go to the customers because it's great for my ego. This man. Bruh. And sometimes you don't have to be honest. There's certain situations where you can just lie. What are we drinking? Oh, Pinot Noir, yeah, I forgot. I think I know the guy that sells that wine. Oh, Jesus. Michelle does tend to talk an awful lot. I have a glass of wine waiting for me. Yeah. I, I hope it's good. No one's consistent. No one's taking anything. No one's got any passion. And if one thing the French have got is passion, here, yeah. zero. Agreed, Megan. After observing dinner service, Gordon has come to a conclusion. Okay. So, let me tell you what I have seen and witnessed all day. I've seen a man that I think is far more in love with himself than he is with his restaurant. Okay. Uh, hey! Tell. Tomorrow, we start working together. No arguing, clear understanding, chef to chef, and I want to see some passion. Do you understand the word passion? Because I haven't seen any of it. It tells me that I don't give a shit about people, I care only about myself. Uh oh. This is all. You can do much oh, better. Oh boy. This is all. Michelle, when are you gonna come around, man? Coming up. Of all the special girls, Michelle. When are you gonna come around, Michelle? How many times does Gordon have to say it? Huh? How many times does Jane have to be angry? Look at Jane. Look at poor Jane. We don't want Jane to be angry. Because Jane is close to Janie, and we love Janie. Is this table four? I don't have it. It is, quite frankly, the most disorganized restaurant. How was your appetizer? It's pathetic. It's embarrassing. You to turn around and tell me when you were like a pig. <laughs> I thought yeah. the sound alert was in the show. And is the secret Ooh, that's funny. I like dinner sometimes. To be a secret forever. Need another water, but luckily I'm afraid to find Day three. Gordon is determined to have get a coat to this chat. stubborn chef. Watching some TV with y'all. Have a coat. Therapy. Oh, I like this idea. Very smart. Okay, new day, and I'm determined that this guy is going to finally start. I see what he's doing here, chat. So this morning, I've shut the place down. I've brought it up. He's going to be like, listen, this could be your reality if you don't bloody figure it out. Start changing and listening to what I'm trying to say. That's what the end result. And that's a sight no restaurant wants to see. Wow. Claude, thank you for the eight months. Delicious. Here's Michelle. Uh oh. What's going on? Oh boy. I'm not closing down. Uh oh. This. Good morning. This is not funny. I'm pissed. Good night, Michelle. Remember that from Full House? That's what I would be saying right now. Good. Good. You've got every reason to be pissed. It's I'm glad you're angry. Yeah. Finally woken up. Now I've done this for a reason. Just think how bad it would be for your business to close. I don't see anything constructive here. It's a small town. Ten people drove by, and guess what? They're going to be advertising on TV. Oh, the restaurant is not doing well. <laughs> well. Okay, let's go, big boy. If the restaurants were to close down, I don't know what. Did Gordy just call me Michelle Big Boy? Okay, let's go, big boy. <laughs> hey, he's such a dick. If the restaurants were to close down, I don't know what I would do. That'd feel almost a shame. 
but for this restaurant, that's why he did that to show around, you. It starts with the menu. Simple food, no frills, straightforward, good flavor, and getting customers coming back once a week, not once a year. Exactly. Hey, everybody, every time we touch something tonight, we're going to be tasting. Yes, chef. Everything. Now, Everything. Gordon is going to teach Michelle some simple money making specials to put on the menu. Gordon's going to teach Michelle how to cook. First dish should be a roast chicken. Roasted, simple, and bang, out, yeah? Okay. Nothing fancy. Nice and easy. There's a lot of things, just because we've been doing them forever does not mean we've there been doing Jason. them the right way. Nothing too expensive. That's not difficult, is it, guys? Trying to simplify how we work faster, cleaner, and better. They're the four specials. Onion gratin, tuna niçoise, roasted chicken, and a fresh local asparagus warm tart. Yes? Oh, that looks, oh, that looks much better Easy than it did when cook? Michel did it. No, I was voted best chef in Conejo Valley. Hey, whoa. Is he the great cook? No. Whoa, the disrespect for Michel. I was voted best chef in Conejo Valley. Vo best chef in Conejo Valley. <sighs> Bruh. How many people were in the valley? Like six? Bruh. Saturday night is the go. one night that the secret garden is busy. Oh, and a yeah. Perfect time to test Gordon's new specials. I've got some fantastic specials to tell you about. Let's see if they like Gordon's. I'm going to say they will. Roast chicken. It's very moist. It's very good. All crisp and it's very delicious. Damn. It's all nice. It's in under the age of 50. What can I get for you, sir? The uh, French onion soup, the special. The special, the asparagus tart. Ooh, music to my ears. Right here, please. Right away. Devil 43. Okay. How was everything? It was oh, excellent. My it was so good. Uh, it was the perfect. Michelle's going to have an aneurysm that they love his food and not Michelle's. It was the perfect size. How does everything taste for you? Very good. Very good. Gordon Rams is brilliant because the responses I get off all my customers is the food is great here. We love it. Cheers. Let's go. Over an hour into meal service and the specials Claire, are thank you very for the year. But orders are starting to back up in the kitchen. I appreciate you so much, Claire. Is this table four? Is this table four? Uh -oh. Table four. What is table four? Is this table four? I don't know. Sammy, you're being I like the assertiveness, Sammy. Mistakes on which tables to run the food to. This is not right. This is not right. Are they communicating with you, Michelle? No. They're, they're talking too much. Not communicating. No, that's all right. Let me worry about it. You told me already earlier you were gonna come pit and they have to leave. Oh, don't don't do don't 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 disrespect Jane like that, Michelle. Don't don't get it don't get ahead of yourself there. Waiting for like an hour and a half to have it eaten. I know. I'm gonna say the communication wasn't quite there oh, for boy. the kitchen. There's not enough potatoes for the special. There's not enough eggs for the special. And no one's communicating. Are you telling me you have nothing left? You're still ordering them. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I've got some specials to tell you about. We've got a warm asparagus tart. It's topped with a mixed green. Very delicious. Special they sold out within 40 minutes of being on the menu. And now Michelle's not communicating. They're ordering food and we haven't even got it. I have an asparagus tart that was ordered for table uh, two. I don't have it. Oh, no, that's not the best. I ate it 60 20 minutes ago. What else is 86 I don't know about? Let, let me worry about it. Oh. Who's in charge of that dining room out there? Uh, Chaos in the kitchen has resulted in angry customers in the dining room. How was your appetizer? I never received it. Oh, oh you haven't received it, why not? No? I keep asking. I'm getting a little cranky. Even though it's the kitchen's oh, fault, boy. we take the brunt of it. And we take the brunt of the anger. Yeah, the, the servers, the they get hit the hardest. It's not like they're, you know, they're just doing their best. They're the messenger. So as a server... It can be shitty sometimes. I know that you haven't had your entree yet. Customers were pissed. They were really, Jane working really double time here. Oh no. Uh oh. Listen, all I can do at this point. Oh, 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 whoa, oh, whoa, oh, 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 Jade. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I didn't expect this outburst, Jane. Hold on. 
Poor Jay. Oh, Jade. I feel bad for Jade. Let's watch that again, though. Yeah, you know what? She's right. And now, instead of turning a profit with their new specials, uh -oh. they're giving food away. This is why he's probably never making profit. It was just chaos. Everybody panicked. I'm getting frustrated. You want to push me in the kitchen? I will scream at everybody. So wait five minutes. When I lose my temper, it's time for you to run. I can make one shot. You want me to do it? Let me worry about it. Uh-oh, here, here comes something. You know what? Serve the food. I don't care. Serve that. Michelle is just, like, glaring at me all damn day. And I didn't deserve it. Jay, right. you know what? Save your words. Nah. I don't have any more. It's a bit demoralizing when he's like that. As soon as it's ready. Okay? All get out. Go in the dining room, take care of the customers. It is, quite frankly, the most disorganized restaurant in America tonight. Pick up. Jane, let's go, let's go, they're walking out. No, I'm loaded over. No, 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 no. Come here, you have no guts. Where's Jane? Michelle is on my shit list. Michelle is on my naughty list. Is he about to make Jane cry? It's not okay. It all got blown up in our face. Now man. Sammy's crying. Oh, no, this is not good. What table? Who's that guy? Where'd that guy come from? Is he wearing a shirt that's like a bunch of money? What is who? Is he from Smash Mouth? Who is this guy? They were getting their ass handed to him. I'm mad because everyone's gotten their entree and I haven't done anything. It's tough. Oh no, oh no. This is probably a good thumbnail though. Good thumbnail for the VOD. <laughs> Thank you, Sammy. Thank you. No. You know what? Because I'm going to find a manager. I think you should just close. This is the lowest day of this restaurant's life. Oh, boy. Still ahead, when customers mow down the door, there's a wheel, there's a way. Michelle struggles to stay out of the weeds. Getting frustrated. Oh, come on. But old habits die hard. Hey, did my motherfuckers come in a trolley? Still ahead. <laughs> what? Wait, did we miss the trolley or when customers mow are they down doing the it door, again? Michelle struggles to stay Are these new the customers? Oh, come on. But what an entrance. Die hard. You run all of the kitchen and Gordon loses it. Yeah, is it? But is your fish then cleaner, you lazy? No. Kitchen nightmares. Even though Gordon's new specials got them off to a good start, the dinner service ended in disaster. Damn. And Michelle and his staff were exposed. I observed tonight and I was watching everything. Waiters were picking up food that didn't belong to them, taking orders with specials on them that we no longer had. Communication, Michelle, was zero. He's always got something ready. Let's see what he's... I feel like this man always got an excuse, but never takes any self-blame. It's like, I was doing this, I was doing this. Like, man, do you own the restaurant? Michelle? I think everybody can communicate properly over here. There was no control, Michelle. Okay, my restaurant is better than this. Do you think this is a game? How can you say your restaurant's doing better? He has a show, a TV show. Where he... is, shut up. Enough of tonight. I want to move on. We will make this a success. Yes, yeah, so, you know, the shut up sometimes you just have to do. You know, just shut up. <laughs> Relaunch day and time for Gordon to start implementing his plan. All right, Starting Gordon. With the Secret Garden's outdated decor. What's he gonna do? Let's Look see. Around. They could have a yard sale and make a lot of money from all the uh, this is like the barbers in the area. Parlor. What does this do in a restaurant? Look at the mess of it. Bro, oh, oh. Gives a charm of what is that? What does this do in a restaurant? Look at the mess. Bro, <laughs> this looks horrible. <laughs> 
a bunch of wax all on the floor. What the hell? I thought it was a snow thing. I thought it was like a snow exhibit. That is an absurd amount of wax, dude. I hope they keep that frog guy. I do too. I hope they put the frog guy in the front. Nothing gives the charm of the antique. It's not. This is going. That is going. Will he get the frog? Let's see. Here we go. Chef right behind you there. I'm Chef opening up your eyes. Gone. Is Frog still here? Oh, like that's it. not good. You don't like it. No. Bye, Grandma. Next step, Gordon's design team moves in to bring the restaurant into the 21st century, okay. redecorating the dining room, replacing the old-fashioned sign, and restoring the main entrance. Okay. Okay, good. New menu. Unstuffy dining room, big, big, big night tonight. Now get in here, Chef Michelle, with your team, and look at your new decor. Very oh, much pretty. better. Oh my goodness. This is gorgeous. Good, it still keeps the same theme of the restaurant, but it's definitely uh, not as. Looks like a, didn't look like a house now. We've got depth, and we've got clarity. There's no clutter. How beautiful. Wow. Michelle? First impressions? Completely oh, he doesn't hate it. Look at Michelle. It's oh, the secret not anymore. Oh, gee, Michelle. You gotta be kidding me, Michelle. thought he was about to be excited dude how do you walk into a brand new place where it's all new stuff for free and you they, and you say it's not the secret garden that's a good thing michelle the secret garden was making three dollars a day Bruh. come on man he did have us in the first half El michelle it's a totally different restaurant there's a there's a reason for that Younger. Yes, yes, he does. Yes. Are you worried about that? Uh, big time. I don't want to destroy what I have. I want to improve what I have. It was already with, uh, Chef Michel? The few customers that we have, I think they're going to come in. They're going to. The few customers that we have. What? That that tells you everything you need to know. There. If you're saying, listen, for the few customers that we have, I don't know. There's a reason you have few customers, Michelle. Go. You know, this is different. I don't like yeah. it. Instead of helping my business, you might hurt my business. Give me a chance. Okay. Give me a chance. I'm not too crazy about the changes, but what's let's up, see Kicks? What he can do, what he can bring to the restaurant. With only a few hours to the relaunch of the restaurant, Gordon unveils the most important. Are you really into this? I'm sorry. I get invested. Menu. This is a great show. Yeah. I've never Push truly ever watched this show before. I'm not even Gone kidding. Are the crusted it's very exciting. Dishes, stuffed dishes and the garlic shrimp okay, and strawberry. That was a little. That Gone little. Are the crusted dishes stuffed? The way they stuffed that little dishes and the Damn. garlic. No, thank you. I don't. I don't know whose hands those are, but Chef. Chef Michelle, I think we might need to get some, get some new technique. Shrimp and strawberry salad, and in their place I see, are. This is, this is a tough the one. The tuna niçoise, the local beet salad, the pan roasted chicken breast. I'll eat all of that. Double cut pork chop. Um, any questions on the menu? That's brilliant. That, that's a really good idea. I love it. I was concerned with that menu because you know I'm used to my old menu, and I'm sure people are gonna ask for it. Oh, I think he's in for a surprise. They may never ask for it ever again. Invited local celebrities and dignitaries, and one very influential guest. Oh, local celebrities and influencers, and a big guest. Who is the guest? Hopefully, it's Jane coming in as a customer. Big night, yes. Tonight is the beginning of a new chapter in Secret Gardens, yes? Tonight is the night. We set the standards tonight, yes? If we do get busy, we do not panic. Now. Probably the mayor. Yeah, the mayor. A Maybe a dog. Knowing that there was a food critic. Look at Malibu behind me, by the way. Take a look at how cute this dog is. Look at her go down there stretching. There she is. A little dog check. This is not gonna be Michelle. This is different. What are they gonna say? How are they gonna like it? It's not about Michelle. That's why he's no. mad. Good luck, everybody. I want to see who this celebrity is. Now that Gordon's plan has been put into effect, it's up to Michelle and his staff to execute. I have reservation for Lisa. Finally, some life in this place. 
Hallelujah. Simple seven, two onion soup, let's go. I was nervous. This is an important night. We have important people in the restaurant. Miss California, I just told Oh. Not Miss California. Look at this. Let's see if she likes it. Will she like it? Six, only half of the appetizers are gone. Uh -oh. It is so important to keep our cool in the kitchen because that's when it's difficult. Are you listening, Mike? And that's when you make the mistakes. Come on, Michelle. With a sudden rush of oh, damn, look at that line. Michelle's nerves are being put to the test. 24. We got a bus of 24 people that came. Unexpectedly, um, a large bus has turned up from a. Uh, that's the trolley. Place, so it's called pandemonium. Michelle, can you make sure they don't start panicking now? Yes. We're right in the middle of this crucial night. Let's go over there. I need to get cooking now. Thank you. Not tonight, guys, yes? Quiet in the kitchen tonight. If Gordon gets in my way, uh -oh. give me the knife. I'll take care of it. I promise I'll make him suffer. What, what is he going to kill Gordon? Hello? What just happened there? That, that took a turn. What the? What? Not tonight, guys, yes? Quiet in the kitchen tonight. If Gordon gets in my way, give me the knife. I'll if Gordon gets in my way, take care of it. I promise I'll make him suffer. I promise I'll make him suffer. Hello? What the hell? Where'd that come from, Michelle? What, what the hell is that about, bro? When I'm 25, how you doing? Thanks for chatting. You can't you can't threaten Gordon with a meat cleaver like that and get away with it, man. What the hell is that about, Michelle? A little bit threatening. It's relaunch night at the Secret Garden, and the onslaught of new customers is putting Michelle and his team to the that test. Nice heat, heat lamps outside. Come right here, please. Right away. This is an important night. We have food critics. We have important people in the restaurant. We can let it fall apart. Unexpectedly, um, a large bus has turned up from a local vineyard, so it's called Pandemonium. A bus of 24 people that came? It's craziness. It's it's happening. Seven, onion soup ordering. Onion soup ordering. Michel has cleared his first hurdle, and the rush of customers has been taken care of. Okay. But the secret garden faces another challenge. Jane, have you spotted the food critic yet? Oh boy, the food critic. Very scary. Yeah. Any idea who the food critic is like the final boss of the of the chef video game. She is, no? Yeah, she's actually um she's actually on a table of five now. She joined four of the people. Oh, really? Is that table ten? Yes. That is the one we give the biggest about. Bring it here. That's for the food critic table. They're gonna, they're gonna make hers okay, extra good. One minute. Take that out. Okay. I'm stressed. It's not even my restaurant. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, they're not. What are they about to kill her? Did they poison the food critic? They poisoned her. Michelle poisoned her. Wow. He poisoned her with arsenic. Look, I knew it. I knew he did it. You could tell he was upset. Do you have any feedback for me? How the hell did she cough like that then? Table 10 hates a food. Oh no, 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 f off, no. It was salting and. What's that, the tuna? The tuna. Michelle, I don't know what happened. Come on, guys. When some of the food came back, the tuna was over salty. I was sweating, I was shivering. No, but Sweating and shivering is not the thing I want to think about when I'm when someone's making my food. <laughs> You know, I don't know if I want, you know, maybe that, maybe it was so salted because of a little bit too much sweat in there. But let's offer them something else instead. I did, they don't want anything else. The new menu, it's good, 
but it's not good enough. We have to make it good enough. Yeah, I apologize for that. If I give you uh, one of my signature dish, um, uh -oh. is that going to make you feel a little bit better? Uh, yeah, something just to balance the tartness. You know, uh -huh. Thank you very much. Thank you for giving me another chance. Yeah. It's like he's like talking to his ex. Thank you for giving me another chance. It's like, come on, man. Stop shivering. You know, I'll get a little more used to the menu. It's a brand new menu for me also. Not an excuse, but it's always a little harder. There's always but, uh, excuses for you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. I'm pissed. Uh -oh. Come on, that's his food. He's the one sending it out. Love it's you. You're making it. There's a way. Gordon, your menu is not better than mine. Nice. Bro, I can't believe he keeps doing this. I can't believe he keeps doing this. Monica, thank you for the tier one. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for the first time. So screw up. FG, 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 FG. After over seasoning the tuna. Michelle is abandoning the new menu. He's now preparing to send his stuffed fillet of beef, and Gordon not is that not big happy. thing again. Hey, come on, please. Uh, yes, yes, yeah, yes, no, no, no. Yes. I can see it on your face, but I am not going to start here. I let you send. <laughs> not tonight, huh? No way. I'm getting frustrated. Oh, come on. Mr. Big Chef shouldn't be in the kitchen. Get I'm a fight. I'm going to fight. Michelle on my own. I don't know how uh, Gordon hasn't thrown hands at this point. He's not a chef. Okay, he's about to get into the boxing gear. I knew it. Let's go. Hell yeah. Hell yes, dude. Gordon versus Michelle. I've been waiting for this part. Hell yeah. In the red corner, Gordon Ramsay. With the restaurant on the verge of success, Chef Michelle is insisting on reverting back to his old ways. Not and the raw Gordon carrots. Has reached his breaking point. Thank you very much. I think okay. it's great. Oh, he's leaving! He's literally leaving. Cut the the you don't care anymore, do you? Get yeah. straight to the answer. No, I'm not cutting no. I'm Get telling you how. It answer. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Good. Your menu is not better than mine. You know. Donkey. My food been voted best chef in uh, in Ventura County. What? Not this. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me finish. Don't push the you finger. Put your hands up here. Listen to me. You run a hole of the kitchen yourself. No. Okay. No. no. Who the are you to turn around and tell me when you work like a pig? You yeah. pig. Yeah. You know what? Oh my God, I forgot this is all happening. Oh, uh, this is all happening. Wow. The people are there. You just hear Gordon Ramsay. Imagine you have a food critic and you hear Gordon Ramsay calling someone a pig. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, big 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 not a great time for this. You're not happy? I'm happy. You, you can get out. Go on. You can get out. Sell. You can get out. It's uh, my kitchen. Yeah, is it? Well, it's your kitchen and clean it, you lazy. No. Damn. <laughs> it was your kitchen and clean it. Oh, my goodness. It's relaunch night at the secret. Yeah, we might need three Michelle relaunches. Insisting on reverting back to his old ways, and Gordon has reached his breaking point. You don't care anymore, do you? Get yeah. straight to the answer. No, I'm not cutting no. Get I'm telling you how it's. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Good. Your menu is not better than mine. You regret. I don't want him in my kitchen. The way Ramsey did this incredible diet. I will say that he Michelle, also reminds me of. He was just blown away. Sha uh, like Shaggy. From Scooby Doo, does that make sense? I feel like Devin might be might say a little like zoinks. Flabbergasted. An extraordinary day today, but I've never seen anything quite as oh, shocking Lord, as that. Bro. He's going through the ringer here. Clearly doesn't care about his customers, his food, or his dining Jason, he Jason Nash, himself. and Shaggy, and One you combine selfish. them, and you have Jason Shaggy. <laughs> Where's the train station? I oh. seriously thought about walking away. But there were other people relying on me. Jane, I you can't leave Jane. Job. You can't leave Shaggy, Jason Ash. After cooling off, Gordon decides to return to prevent the old menu dish from leaving the kitchen. Okay. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, I don't want to look at you in a month's time and say you've got screwed, slammed, food critic. I just want everything to be yeah, perfect. I agree. And you want that to be as well, yes? Yes. Every table is a VIP table, yes? Yes. Jane, can we get rid of that food, please? Finally, yeah? For the fifth time. Good. It's sure. like Pirates of the Caribbean music. I love it. No, I won't. Jane, no one's panicking, yes? No. Yeah, please keep it together. Up, up, and away. Let's go, yeah? That's nice. That looked pretty good. That's for the food critic table. 
Okay, let's go Finally, food critic. Food critic was given a proper Come dish on. The new menu. Uh oh. She she chokes on the bone. Let's go. Look at that. Even though the food critic was happy with the dish from the new menu. Even though she was happy, she later died. Michelle was still not convinced. You're gonna go out there and see them. I'm gonna go to every every table. When I go to the customers, they're my real critics. Well, that's not really Let's true. Let's see what people think about Colin's new menu. Oh, it's fantastic. And the salmon. Oh, he's not gonna be happy about this. Michelle's gonna have a look at. He's gonna blow a gasket. Look at everything you're liking this evening. Yeah. Oh, it was so much better than the previous menu. Whatever dumbass chef worked here before. Oh, so glad he's gone. He'd probably turn red and explode. Thank you. How do you like the new dining room? It's beautiful. When I asked the customers, uh -oh. they said they love it. The food was exquisite. Oh, yeah, look at this. Tony Squigliani likes it. Oh. Helen likes it. Now, what I do wrong. How was the people when they left? Um, everyone loved it. Uh oh. Not an angry face. <laughs> oh, Terry, tell him, Terry. Tell him, Terry. Terry, tell him. Okay, but I want to make sure that not angry doesn't mean they loved it. I want to make sure that they left and they say everything was great. Oh no, he's sad. He's sad. For the people that I asked, they all Oh, that's a painful smile right there. That's a painful smile. You know he's sad right now. But if Michelle needed a little more convincing, the answer was in the cash register. Come on, Michelle. You know, for 60 customers, we need $50 per person. So we need a little bit more than $3,000 of revenue. This is great. It Thank was you. great to okay, have a business. Okay, 3K in rev. Ryan, you have to watch After the Amy's Bacon Company. I think down, I'm just going to go down and watch all these in a row over, over the next couple months. But there's one question left unanswered. Did Gordon truly get through to Michelle? It is difficult to do changes. And maybe not for everybody, but for me. I'm like, so wrong. Wow. Are you just saying that? No, no, I mean it. I mean it. The customers love the changes. I like the way the food came out, how it was clean, and we made a profit. I think it's exciting. He saw, he saw that money and suddenly things changed. He saw that 3K in profit and was like, okay, I'm... This Gordon guy might be on to something. Maybe he has a show for a reason. I, I, I know how stubborn you are. Yes. And it's not the first time in my career I've come across someone as stubborn as you. However, tonight was much better than the other night. You put your first foot on the ladder. Mm -hmm. Now you've got to keep on climbing. Oh, so I didn't know they had this cool well, back I'm room. Wrong. I'm wrong. Well done. Now that you know. Oh, and that's not true. Don't you're stop. Saying. I won't. Okay. With Gordon's help, the secret garden was functioning as a restaurant should. And as the week progressed, changes clearly began to take hold. If we all spend half an hour cleaning, this kitchen becomes spotless. Michelle is committed to kitchen hygiene. He also promoted Jane to manager. Come on! <laughs> what? This is like the most beautiful ending. Come on, Jane. Our girl with the with the rays. I think she needs the keys of the restaurant with the manager title. Tonight, Jay is the manager. Wow, look at Jay. Clap it up, chat. See, we knew that this the gym from the office smile would get her far. I'm the manager. I am the bitch of the place. Cool. Gordon's plan was a success. And now the secret Cody is got no me, Jane, longer a kitchen nightmare. And more importantly, customers are leaving happy. She makes me laugh. <laughs> Oh man. You really do have something special. Please do not screw it up. The restaurant has improved immensely. Shaggy Man, Jason. We like him. Manager. Jane. If we oh, he gave Jane a kiss on the now, cheek. Then we're all idiots. <laughs> she's, oh, she's always giving sound bites. Can't be successful now. If we can't be successful now, we're all idiots. Now, then we're all idiots. I like Jane. <laughs> well done. 
It was very sad to see Gordon leaves. Really helped us. I think it's like when Super Nanny leaves and all the kids of cry. A very, very successful year. No regrets. Thank you. No regrets. Promise. Promise. You still hate me? Oh yes, I do. Yes. <laughs> he just said yes, I do. I believe him. He definitely days, does not like it. I think we all survive. I think he just made money, better. Chad. That's what the I got from this. Out. That he made money and was happy, but he does not like Gordon. Michelle finally learned the cardinal rule of being a restaurateur. You serve your customers, not yourself. Ah, very good. Damn. All right, that was a great episode. Our, our first start on our journey of watching Kitchen Nightmares. in season one, episode one. Michelle. What the heck, man? I mean, it went pretty, it went good at the end there, but man, oh man, that was, Jesus, that was not easy. For, that was not easy. That's a great show. We have a lot of that to watch, so I'm going to have to start doing some two-a-days.